Mark, who are we off today? Office. Office? But you'll just, just drive. <laughs> Where are you going back then? It's the last place that you... This is Commissioner Thompson now, guys. More or less. More, more, more or less. making them train wrecks too. Welcome home, Mark. It's good to be back. Why'd you come back anyway? Set the record straight. Don't get me wrong. You can walk away from the train wreck. But you're still scarred. Fractured. Never quite whole. So what have we got left? As fractured refugees. Maybe. We still deserve it. We find each other. Hanson, what are you doing here? You're off the case, Mark. You gotta be kidding me. Don't get me wrong, you're good. It's just, you've let yourself go recently. <laughs> I mean, you look like shit. Whatever happened to Mark Seabury, the man that doesn't stop in the city that never sleeps? Naturally, I was curious as to why you went a bit AWOL, so I decided to open up an old case file. Want one? Suit yourself. Murmurs, murders. I noticed something quite interesting. The file has your name sharpied out in a place with horrors. Drop the case, Hanson. You left because you found out the identity of your killer. Don't know what you're talking about. You left because that killer is your wife. Like I said, don't know what you're talking about. Drop the case. Hello, Mark. Oh, um, come in. Uh, sorry about the mess. <laughs> you look well. How have you been? Any exciting cases? Ah, it's been a slow year. Do you want a drink? Ah, uh, yeah. Corona, okay? Ah, uh, no, I'm trying to quit, actually. Ah, oh, soda then. Yeah, sounds good. No, thank you. So, those are the old, uh, Home videos, Sam made. Oh, yeah, um, they're ancient. Let's take a look.
simple times. Wasn't sad in this one. Yeah, I've seen it before. <clears throat> the sound comes down the slide, sound follows it. Oh, uh, I'm not 100% sure we even dug these out in ages. Graham gives Sab a push on the swing next. Have you cut her out? Sorry. Are you being serious? No, of course not. Why it would looks you? Looks like you did. <laughs> we haven't watched these in years. Then what is Ma it, Abigail? Because I'd sure like to know where my wife oh, is. Mark, please, can we not do this right I'm now? I'm not stupid, Abigail. Yes, we cut her out. Why? She's in our family. How can you say that? She murdered six people, Mark. My daughter wouldn't kill six she, people. She didn't kill six people. Then who did? Bellamy! You sure? Because I'm pretty sure we found her with the blood on her hands. Yes, but... Don't try and justify... After all the shit you put her through. Bellamy's influence pushed her over the edge. She held the knife, not him. August 6th. 1945. Oh, Jesus. On August 6th, 1945, Colonel Thomas Ferraby pushed a button on his plane. It dropped the atomic bomb. 146,000 people died on August 6th, 1945. Now, never have I ever heard anyone say that Colonel Thomas Ferraby killed 146 thousand people, they blame the bomb. Not the bombardier. My wife killed six people that much is true. She was the bomb. Not the bombardier. So I ask you, who do you blame? The bomb or the bombardier? Can't help. Take a seat. Take a seat. <sighs> so, how have you been? Did you stop drinking? I wouldn't expect you to understand. <laughs> no. It's mad. I suppose you called me here for a reason? It's a social call, Mark. I'm concerned about you. How are you feeling? Pissed. But Hanson on the case. It's ridiculous. Do you want to know something about Hanson, Mark? Well, there's this is thing. He's a prick, and he's an idiot. So there's no harm in putting on the case. You should have kept the case file closed. What? We were going to idly stand by while you ran around playing sheriff. Hanson told me to take this. Okay. You're right on me. <laughs> have we met? I don't believe so. Mark. Jessica, will that be all, sir? Uh, do we have any coffee? Um, yeah, I, th I think so. Do you want any coffee? No, I'm good, thank you. Uh, just one cup, then, please. Here's the thought. Say, I stopped. 
investigating. So the public knew we closed the case? Is this really necessary? Humour me. Okay, so we closed the case. What then? So we stopped investigating. There'd be outroar. Like it or not, she is a wanted criminal and our only connection to Bellamy. Dealt with outroar before. They wouldn't be on the same scale. Not even close. Please. She's my wife and you're... You'd help her then. I can't help her now. I'm sorry. Luckily, there might be a solution to our problem. Thanks, love. Oh, God, that's terrible. Oh, taste of it. <laughs> no, no, no. Ah, look. Rejoin the case. I'll even fix you up your old office. Come on. Make sure that Sam gets the best treatment she can. Do you know what I don't understand? This <sighs> obsession with me. I miss the olden days. I want them back. You get used to it after a while. <laughs> Look, people admire you. I admire you. You are too kind, but I can't accept. I, but I've got to do this alone. I don't respect my actions. The law keeps people safe. Sometimes you need to step outside your system. We live in a city of charismatic killers and corrupt cops. Good and evil go hand in hand, and the line between them gets thinner and thinner each day. You know what? You sound just like it. Word of warning! As soon as you step out that door, you're alone. I can't help you anymore! You've already done more than enough for me. Goodbye. I feel like I'll see you all too soon. <laughs> I think I've already had enough of that. I should have been there for her, Mark. Christ, there were so many signs I should have seen. We've talked about this before. I should have been there. Like Bellamy was there. I mean, it's only natural. She couldn't get help from most of her family besides... After I got home, when I was living with Mum, I came in and saw her staring at the TV, in complete and utter disbelief at what she was hearing. She couldn't speak. She just sat there. I came in and saw the report. 
the local author kills seven people. After that, I lost touch with mum. I lost touch with my friends. I lost everything. I was just about to come to terms with everything when I saw her on the news. Standing outside the police station today. There she was. My sister. The one I made stupid films with. Pulled stupid faces out and messed about with. There she was. But I don't see those happy childhood memories anymore. I see that god-awful mugshot. It feels like losing everything all over again. I saw her. You saw her? You saw Sav? Why didn't you do anything? She just gave me George's dinosaur and left. Why didn't you do anything? You could have caught her, you could have run I after couldn't! The shock of it all. It sent me back. Like a relapse. There is so much of this that I don't understand. It's okay. You'll work it out. You always do. Alright, your turn. Tell me something embarrassing about yourself. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. Oh, come on. There's got to be something. Okay, so uh, I like to sing in the bathroom, but for some reason it's gotten me into a lot of awkward situations. <laughs> it's only recently that I stopped. Why's that? I may have sung the entirety of Careless Whisper whilst horror were just standing outside. <laughs> How did he take that? <laughs> he laughed it off, but he hasn't looked at me the same. How so? Well, I'll let you know a bit of a secret. I am the worst singer in the world. I don't believe it. Are you sure? <laughs> I sound suspiciously like bullshit to me. <laughs> Come on. Let's see how bad a singer you really are. <laughs> oh! Sorry! Ma, what a surprise. I thought I'd seen the last of you. Is this a friend of yours? Savannah. Samantha. Close enough. Sad, please. <laughs> Have we met before? Don't think so. Are you sure? I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. Weren't you on TV last night? Sad. What are you doing here? I... Did Bellamy send you? What? No, Bellamy didn't send me. Why are you here? I'm not doing too well, Mark. Then come home. Me and Sam will protect you. I'm a wanted criminal. Then, well, don't stow you away. I don't want to the stairs. You don't get it, do you? I loved it. Killing. The rush of adrenaline. The slow descent as you put the animal down. Sort of like when we used to go hunting. Do you remember? We'd go out into the woods, set up traps and wait. Wait for deer to come past and then snap. They would always limp, always in pain. Then we'd feel that rush of adrenaline. Predator versus prey. When it lay then, Trying to get out in unbearable pain. What would you say, Mark? Sometimes, when an animal is in pain, it's best to put that animal down. I don't want to hurt anyone else, Mark. I've hurt enough. Bellamy protected me, but in return he wants me to hurt more. I'm caught in this trap, broken and bleeding, and there's no way to get out.
sometimes when an animal is in pain it's best to put the animal down no the fuck no there's another way bullshit i won't hurt anymore i know i know and when i refuse Bellamy will kill me. I'd rather die by my husband's hand than by Bellamy's. <laughs>